Doug Peterson managed to make a lot of NFL fans as angry as the Philadelphia fan stereotype. Talk about a Philly special. After he replaced Jalen Hurts with Nate Sudfeld in the Sunday night game against the Giants. For more, I'm here with Bill Enright. And Bill, I don't give a damn about Giants fans. This isn't about, you know, their 6-10 and 10 quest to win the division. But as a, an NFL fan, you know, I felt a little disrespected by that move. I'm watching it. They, they flexed the game in. His players didn't seem to like it. You know, Jalen Hurts, there's a young QB who probably didn't like it, right? So did, did Doug Peterson, in a way, disrespect the game by making that move? Yes, yeah, so, so there's certainly a lot to digest here. Um, one, I don't think it was Doug Peterson's decision. Uh, this this is a call that usually comes from ownership or from someone a little higher than Doug Peterson. So even though he pulled the Jalen Hurts and he's the head coach, you can't solely put the blame just on him. The second thing is, I wonder if this would have ever happened if there were actually fans in the stadium, right? Because it was a home game for Philly. Can you imagine if they're in a tight game, fans paid to go watch, and all of a sudden they pull their quarterback one that they finally have some hope for after benching Carson Wentz and actually can get a little excited. They're only down by three points, but there was no fans in the game. It was a little bit of a perfect storm situation, right? Because it was the last game of the year. The report already came out that Doug Peterson's going to keep his job for 2021. He'll, he'll remain the head coach. So I think the Eagles, their officials, their brass, their executives kind of took a shot and said, listen, Let's take the better draft pick. This game is meaningless to us. Who yeah. cares if we bench our quarterback in the fourth quarter in a game that we don't need to win? In, in the grand scheme of things, yeah, that's correct. But, you know, first of all, what's the damn point of getting Sudfeld reps? I don't understand that, that um, you know, uh, statement or that they're still trying to win. You don't remove your, your, your quarterback and then say you're trying to win the game. And, and, you know, Eagles fans may be happy with the draft pick down the line. But again... You know, you have your fans who are watching that game. It's the last time they're going to see the team this season. This was the last game of the NFL regular season for the, the football fan at large who wanted to see, you know, that division decided. So all that stuff sounds nice, big picture. But when you're, you're in the moment right there, you don't think it leaves a bad taste in people's mouth? I, I think if you're a Philly fan, you should be uh, questioning how much your team really wanted to win that game. If you look at who they had inactive before the game started, running back Miles Sanders, he could have, could have certainly helped them win. I think the writing was on the wall that the team did not want to go out and win that game, which that's a whole other discussion on whether NFL teams should be allowed to tank, if there should be a punishment if they tank. Um, but if you're a general NFL fan, who cares what the Eagles did on Sunday Night Football? They're 4-8-1 they're or 4-9-1 and one, uh, whatever their their record is heading into that game, they're a last place team in the worst division in football. I just wanted to see a compelling finish. And if you're going to let Jalen Hurts start the game, it's one thing if you don't even play him, but don't you want to see what, what he does in those close tight game situations? I did want to see it.